Hi guys, <clears throat> welcome to the Plant Growth Factors IAA. So in terms of the specification, we were looking at taxis and kinesis so far. Uh, we've managed to look at this a little bit, but today we will be looking at the IAA on the cell elongation in roots and shoots. So uh, plants obviously have no nervous system and they will respond to changes in the external and internal environment, obviously, to survive. So a few terms here, we've got light, so response to light is called phototrophism. Shoots will grow towards the light because, of course, light is needed for photosynthesis. Gravity, uh, response to gravity, it's called gravitrophism. So, uh, obviously, there are femi uh, in the soil, so the roots are sensitive to gravity and grow in the direction of its pull. And uh, response to water, hydrotrophism, so it's growth towards water to absorb it and to use it for the photosynthesis or support. So, a definition of the trophism, okay, it's a directional growth. So, that's the main difference between taxis and kinesis and trophism. Other two were to do with the movement. This is the growth. What they've got in common with the taxis, it's a direction. So, they can either uh, grow towards the stimulus or away from the stimulus. And two main things for our specification is phototrophism and gravitrophism. So uh, plants, uh, when they respond to the external stimuli, they will involve hormone-like substances. We call them like plant growth factors. So what they can do, they can apply their influence by affecting growth. They might be made by cells, okay, and they affect tissues that release them and they are produced in small quantities. So uh, the IAA, it's a plant growth factor, belongs to a group of auxins, and the job of auxin is to cause the elongation of cells on the shaded side of the stem, causing it to bend. So uh, IAA will then control plant cell elongation. So the responses of plant tissue Okay, to IAA then depends on the tissue itself, on the concentration of the hormone, the timing of its release, and the presence of the plant growth substances. And the gradients in auxin concentration during growth prompts differentiation responses in specific tissues and contribute to directional growth. So diffusion is the process by which IAA will move from the growing regions of the plant shoot to other tissues. And uh, to explain the effect of temperature, okay? So obviously anything to do with temperature, we need to think about the kinetic energy. So more kinetic energy, so faster movement of molecules and more diffusion because we discussed the IAA I moved by diffusion. In terms of the investigations, if anyone will ask you questions, we will have to look at the properties like cuticle thickness, leaf size, number of stomata, because more diffusion is something that we want uh, and we want to provide a short diffusion pathway. So let's get started with the content now. So phototrophism, okay, it's the response to uh, of the shoots to one-sided light. So as we can see, okay, this is the uh, the part that it's facing the sunlight. This is shaded part of the shoot, and this is uh, the uh, location where the cell elongation will take place. So how does it take place? So the cells in the tip of the shoot will produce IAA, and then it's going to be transported by diffusion down the shoot. So the IAA will be transported evenly, firstly, when they are moving down, but IAA is going to move due to light. From the light side, so this is where the sunlight is uh, uh, it's, uh, facing the plant, to the shaded. So there will be more IAA on the shaded side of the shoot. 
So uh, IAA will then cause more elongation on that shaded part of the uh, of the uh, shoot due to high concentration, and the shaded side elongates faster than the light side. Shoot tip will then bend towards the light. So that's positive phototrophism in the shoots of the plant. So here we've got a question. You can pause the video for a second. And the uh, actual question is to explain why this root, uh, root tip will drop away uh, from the salt. Okay, so this is uh, the direction from which salt will diffuse. We've got cell L carrier proteins, we've got cell R and the carrier proteins. As we can see, there is more uh, uh, carrier proteins in cell L. Okay, so if there is more carrier proteins, what will happen? There will be more diffusion. Okay, so our explanation for this, there will be more carriers in cell L, so uh, less cells will remain in cell L, so there will be more, uh, so, so less IAA, so it will remain in there, so there will be more elongation uh, growth in L. So this was to do with the root tip. So you can clearly see that the roots uh, are acting uh, opposite, okay? So uh, less, less concentration, okay, here, they will cause more growth. In the shoots, it's all the way around. So remember, that's the difference. So in the roots, less concentration will cause the growth. So uh, gravid is now. So in terms of the gravid shopism, okay, uh, Cells in the tip of the root will produce IAA. So we are looking here at the roots. Okay. Right. What will happen it will be exactly the same as before, will be transported to all of the sites by the process of diffusion, but the gravity will influence the movement of IAA uh, from the upper, okay, to lower side of the root. So there will be the higher concentration of IAA built on the lower side of the root than on the upper side of the root. So uh, IAA will inhibit the uh, elongation of root cells, higher concentration of IAA in the lower side, the cells, uh, of, uh, the cells on this side will elongate less. So how does it going to look like? Like this. Okay, and uh, higher elongation, greater elongation of cells on upper side root will bend towards the gravity. So this is the upper side, this is where it's going to bend, okay, towards the gravity. So there is a difference, uh, again, the same like we look with that uh, phototropism. Uh, there was difference in the shoots and difference in the roots, same here. So in shoots, there will be a higher concentration of IAA on the lower side that will increase cell elongation, and this side elongates more than upper side. So shoots will uh, grow to uh, upwards away from the force of the gravity. Okay. So uh, in terms of the role of those uh, IAA in the elongation. It's to increase the uh, plasticity, so ability to stretch of the cell wall, response only uh, on young cell walls, uh, higher rigid, and uh, acid growth hypothesis. It's something that we will be looking at now. So this hypothesis tells you that IAA is through to stimulate the cell elongation uh, by causing target cells to secrete protons, hydrogen ions, into their cell walls. So as the results, there will be increase in acidity through, uh, is through to weaken the bonds between cellulose microfibers because as you remember, the cellulose is made of beta uh, glucose straight uh, chains which are supported by hydrogen bonds making this microfibers and that will allow cell wall to expand when the cell takes in water. 
So that's everything for uh, for this topic. So that's everything for IAA. See you later.